Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez, and uh, we're here at Hanson Dam to celebrate the completion of a, uh, well, it took some time. It was a two-year project uh, resulting, affected by the effects of COVID-19, uh, but the completion of a very significant project here at Hanson Dam, where we have over 1,400 acres of recreation, hiking space, uh, that often if there are individuals that find themselves in distress are not able to really communicate their location as a result of the fact that we have never had mile markers and signage appropriately located in the grid of this vast space. And so as a result of our collaboration, working with our incredible Bureau of Engineering and of course our park rangers, we now have a system in place, a mapping system and a grid system that is going to enable the users, the recreational users of these facilities to better identify where they are located, that in the event of an emergency or even just for their recreational use, they'll be able to better communicate their location so that they can be pinpointed. And I will tell you on a day like today, as hot as it is, and here we are in October and it's still the San Fernando Valley and we still have that San Fernando Valley heat, you want to have people respond to you very quickly uh, if, you are, if you find yourself in distress. And so these are some of the improvements both for uh, that enhance public safety here uh, at the uh, Hanson Dam facility, but also just to help make greater access to the recreational opportunities of this vast space. And this is just one part of a larger uh, set of work and uh, efforts that we're investing here at Hanson Dam. Since I took office four years ago, we have been working on, working on greater plans and uh, building out a larger master plan with our Department of Recreation and Parks so that this recreational space becomes even greater of a jewel here in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. So with that, I wanna turn over uh, an opportunity to one of my very good friends, one of my favorite general managers. Uh, and uh, he's been an incredible partner and his team has been astounding. Never underestimate the power of an engineer. <laughs> and uh, it's we are so fortunate to have uh, one of the greatest uh, in, here in the city of Los Angeles. And so I'm happy to introduce our general manager, uh, Gary Lee Moore. Thank you so much, uh, Councilmember Rodriguez. And I just want to say, first of all, anytime we do a project with you, you know all the details uh, because <laughs> you are involved in every project and you're passionate about your, not just your district, but the entire city. And I've gotten to know you for many, many years. And it's just a real pleasure and honor to work with you. And, and, and we're just so pleased. Uh, we have a great partner in the Department of Recreation and Parks. And the general manager, Mike Scholl, is somebody I've worked with for many years. And we just love doing projects for him and his team. And uh, this is just a great example uh, of a partnership. And as the councilwoman said, with COVID, it impacted uh, the ability to start the project. But we only, when we finally started a month ago, we were done in a month. So it was, uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And as you drive around, you see these signs around and the maps uh, that you see behind us, one in English, one in Spanish, and one for Braille. It's, it's all about communication and making sure you're safe. And we're using our in-house staff to uh, do a whole GPS uh, coordinate system where all these, uh, these locations, so that if you do need assistance, the Rangers will be able to find you very quickly. And I wanna finally just thank our team. Uh, they're incredible on a daily basis out here. Uh, doing projects, working through all the obstacles that COVID had sent us, but they fought through to finish. And I want to thank Ray and Melissa and Justin. And uh, so thank you, the three of you, for all the work you did. We really appreciate it. Councilwoman, back to you. Thank you, Gary. And of course, we would not, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge uh, the work that our park rangers do on a regular basis. And they are the stewards of, uh, of this beautiful space. And just to, uh, to inform everybody who may not be aware, this is actually uh, federal property. The Army Corps of Engineers owns, uh, is the owner of uh, the Hanson Dan Recreational Area, but 
our Department of Recreation and Parks is uh, is uh, the overseer and uh, and provides the maintenance and service and uh, oversight of this wonderful facility that we're so fortunate to have here in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. And so with that, I'd like to invite uh, our other Gary. I, I've been bookended by Gary's today, Sergeant Gary from our Rangers uh, here, if you'd come up and uh, say some, some words about the program. All right, thank you. Thanks for having us here. Um, this project couldn't have came at a better time. Sunset these, this time of year is coming earlier in the day, meaning it gets darker sooner. Um, a typical family out here for a hike may find themselves hiking in the dark. Um, before these signs went up, there was nothing to label what trail they were on, where their location is. If they stumbled across an emergency or they themselves needed emergency assistance, our typical call would be, I'm on a dirt trail in Hanson Dam. Well, that's great, we'll try to find you. With these new signs that went up, the signs were correlated with the grid system as these maps behind me show. Um, for example, if someone's on the aquatics trail, they can now say, I just passed the sign and it said E2 on it. Uh, great, our dispatch will get that information and E2 on this grid system points to their general location where they may be. On top of that, these signs are all GPS located. So when we plug in E2 on our dispatch system, the exact GPS location comes out and we can get them emergency services as soon as possible, cutting down our response time, getting them the help sooner, even if they're just scared of the dark and they've seen a coyote, which has happened here in the park before, and they don't want to continue because they're scared of coyotes in the park. Um, I would like to thank our council office, everybody, our partners who, who did this project. I mean, it was long overdue. Anything to help Hanson Dam get one step closer to, to being more friendly, uh, bringing our community together, we, we welcome it. And we welcome all our guests, our neighbors. Please come to our park, come in, stop by and say hi. The Rangers are here to help you as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I think uh, we might have covered everything. Are we gonna, we're gonna have a little ribbon cutting and then we're happy to answer any questions uh, individually.